children born through IVF could have shorter lifespans and poorer health in later life. Well, that's according to one scientist in California, and it's because he said the process bypasses natural selection. Pascal Gagneau has warned of the problem, and he's likened it to the junk food time bomb, where the devastating health food health impact was not known for over 50 years. Well, we're talking about natural selection here. Obviously, with IVF, uh, many times one sperm is linked with one egg. Sometimes in a Petri dish, they put multiple sperms and they allow some form of selection to take place. But oftentimes with IVF, it's one sperm and one egg linked together. And he's talked at the American Association for the Advancements of Science annual meeting in Washington, DC. He's spoken of the fact that there are problems with the lack of natural selection, mm. uh, that obviously weaker sperm usually get filtered out in the natural process. And he's also talked about other processes that get bypassed. Uh, one he's, he's brought some light to is a process called capacitation, uh, which goes on when the female secretes um, some fluids and effectively massages the sperm, causing a rearrangement of some of the cell membranes. He's also talked about some tests they've done. One test was taking 100 children into the Swiss Alps, uh, half of whom were IVF babies, half of whom were not, and those that were born through IVF processes uh, really had trouble breathing at higher altitude. And he said that this implies that they could have problems breathing and problems with their heart in later life. Well, that sound, for starters, that doesn't sound like much of a vacation, going hiking through the Alps when you're a little kid. But I mean, <clears throat> I, and I'm not sure about the scientific nature of that, really, because there could be a whole host of reasons as to why somebody could adapt, as you yourself would know, adapt better to altitude, breathing in altitude uh, over and above how they were conceived. But that notwithstanding, he does raise a very interesting point, is the fact that this is because it is a scientifically uh, arranged and very deliberately arranged process whereby the, the egg is fertilized in a non-natural way that they could potentially lead to natural selection being bypassed and as a consequence there could be some knock-on effects. Again, I don't necessarily buy the analogy with junk food. I think we always knew that eating crappy food was never going to be ideal for us. But I, so, but I take the point that it certainly bears better further investigation and it's going to be interesting. Whether it would ultimately lead to a shorter lifespan purely because of that it, it, it's too early to tell, but I think it raise a raises a fascinating point. Well, one experiment that he's also referred to is of mice, female mice born through one sperm being injected into one egg. They develop problems with diabetes uh, and obesity, and the male mice uh, born that way had problems with hormone function. So the, the fact is, and why he's likened it to the junk food situation, is it was something that we didn't find out enough about until 50 years past the initial implementation of junk food. And here, the oldest person born through IVF is Louise Brown. She's a British woman, and she's still only 37 years old. So uh, here's a quote from him about the fact that the jury is still out. He said, the jury is out, though, about whether these children are going to be healthy 80 years down the line. I wouldn't rule out that they could have shortened lifespans. We are engaging in an evolutionary experiment. And he said that there are some worrying signs already. Um, one other thing he talked about, just to mention, is the fact that... Uh, um, these, this, the embryos are grown for the initial five days in plastic dishes. Mm. So the environment that they're exposed to with light and all sorts of other things is very different, obviously, to sure. that inside the womb. Um, so the fact is that uh, as yet, uh, let's just make this clear, that the people we know to be born through IVF don't seem to be showing any signs uh, of, of being more unhealthy than anyone else. But with the youngest person still at 37 years old, as this one scientist said, the jury is still out.